Hey guys, welcome back to the Second Time Lucky Mining Channel. In today's video, we're going to talk about invalid shares. More specifically, what is an invalid share? How do I fix an invalid share? And then what are common scenarios when that could happen? And how do I overcome that? So what is a invalid share? So that is when you get a share from the pool and then ultimately you submit the incorrect solution for that specific share so that's really when it happens um, it could be multiple reasons as to why you are submitting an incorrect share but for me most of the time how do i go about fixing it is it's the overclocks for me that is wrong so i then generally go ahead and tweak the overclocks for my graphics card um, you know when does that occur or when do i get invalid shares is really when my overclocks are wrong my overclocks are wrong because in my practical example i assume that my stable overclocks for the other xfx um, 6700 XT would apply to this specific one here. So that's an assumption that I made that's obviously incorrect. Every graphics card is different, but that's sort of where my issue came from. Um, I've seen it lots of times before for me, um, you know, in other scenarios is sort of when I slot in a new graphics card into an existing rig, um, you know, sometimes HiveOS takes another card's overclocks and applies it to that specific card. So that's, that's when you would see it a lot more. Um, you know, if you're lucky, you know, the, the miner will just bomb out if the overclocks is way different on the new card that you're slotting in. But uh, I've seen overclocks um, or invalid shares in that specific scenario as well. So for those of you that don't know, I bought a 6700 XT, a XFX one, um, a while ago. And I'll leave a link in the video description and tag it at the top here. But I got a 6700 XT, I figured out the overclocks, put it into my mining rig and it mined away without any issues, any invalid shares at all. I bought then a second 6700 XT, which is this one here. So this is the XFX Quick 319 Ultra. So again, it's a XFX card. It's just the Ultra version. So it's a little bit more high end, but I applied the same overclocks being lazy or um, you know thinking that you know those were stable across all the cards and then through its behold that's where my invalid shares came from to fix that invalid shares i obviously needed to go and tweak the overclock settings so i'll show you guys specifically how i tweaked this card or the overclock settings that i'm currently using for this card to get rid of the invalid shares but generally speaking that's what you need to go and do to fix your invalid share issues it's more often than not it's just your overclocks are either a little bit too aggressive on the upside so that means you're applying too much or you're applying too little so you just need to go and tweak it a little bit either up or down depending on um, you know where you are at so unfortunately i'm not sure which card you have and and what overclocks you're currently using but i'll share my uh, 6700 xt overclocks and then whatever i have in the system so for a reference point of of what is at least stable that i'm not getting invalid shares with but in the end of the day you just need to go and fiddle with your overclock settings but let me show you practically my issue and how am i overcoming it right, so here i am in HiveOS, and here you can see where i have the issue so by the way this is in my octominer case so if you haven't watched that video i'll leave a link in the description um the spoiler alert i absolutely love this case it's it's amazing i even found some some new features that i didn't know for for example here at the power so this is actually accurate as what it uses for consuming at the wall so here you can see there's four server psus in the octominer and you can see the power wattage per one of them so that's quite cool anyway i digress so here you can see sort of where my issue is i've got in one invalid chair and the miner has been running for about seven almost eight hours um so one invalid chair in eight hours probably not too bad but you know this bothers me having this sign here so that's why i want to go about fixing it so as you can see here i've got this xfx that's causing the issue and then i've got the, the other one so as you can see lazy me has got the exact same overclocks for both of them but obviously it's not working correctly on one of them so what i would normally do is i would then start fiddling with the overclocks to find the new happy place for this specific card because every graphics card is going to be different and then you know what i'm doing here might not necessarily help you but you can look at some of my other overclocks from my other graphics cards in case you, you have issues with a a4000 or a 6800 xt as you can see i've got a couple of them and then also the 6800 but anyway so let's go about fixing this so what i would normally do so generally i think my overclocks might be a little bit too too aggressive on the downside to get the wattage down so i would go about 
increasing these values on the card. So for me, you know, what I'm going to do is bump bump the core. So I'll just make that a little bit higher. Um, the memory, I'll, in this case, I'm going to see if I can lower that a bit, but then increase the memory voltage. So I'll do that. And then while I'm here, let's see if it can handle um, 70. Let's do 74 uh, as an example. So I'll go and apply these overclocks. So I would generally apply the overclocks and then restart the, the mining rig to, to, to have a look. Um, because that will obviously clear this one this one error message that I have here, but also I'll, I'll wait a second until I'm 100% sure the overclocks has been applied. I can now see that the overclock settings has been applied, so I generally would go and click on this and just read through it. But what I would do now next is restart the rig, so I would reboot it there in HiveOS. And then now I will wait and have a look at this to make sure that number one, it, it is applied and then have a look maybe over a day or two days so generally speaking more than a day because what i found here is you know i get maybe one or two in a day so it's obviously not a lot of invalid shares so there's not a lot wrong with my overclocks but i like to to look at stability at least for more than a day so um, now i'm gonna have to sit and wait for another day to, to see if these overclocks are working for this specific graphics card now you can see lots of time has passed. So as you can see here, the miner has now run for two days using the overclocks that I mentioned. So on the core 710 VDDCI 730 and then the memory voltage at 1280 and then the memory clock at 1074. So the miner has been up for more than two days. Um, I got a couple of rejected shares, but that's because my internet was shoddy. So um, I was actually struggling with connect connectivity. So that's that, but I didn't get invalid shares. And you can see here, I even got 47 mega ashes, um, you know, on the card from a mega ash perspective, but no invalid shares. So that's the important piece. So for me, for that specific card, that's now the new norm, what I'm going to use for overclocks. So as you can see here, even though, you know, sometimes you have the same card, not the same overclocks would necessarily apply. And, you know, I've got another example of actually that, and that is my 6800 XT. So you can see I've got two different cards and the overclocks are slightly different. Um, you know, the one card just doesn't want to, to deal very well with uh, memory increases, but that's just, um, you know, how the silicon lottery goes. So hopefully you've learned something out of this. Again, for me, every time I have the invalid shares, I, I normally go and fiddle with the overclocks, which seems to fix my issues. So hopefully I've helped somebody in the process. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. If you've liked it, please like it and maybe consider subscribing. If you didn't, please specify in the comments what you would like me to change. But otherwise, I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.